Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacted with the medal winners of the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games 2018 at his residence in New Delhi. Speaking at the interaction session, Prime Minister congratulated the sports stars who brought laurels to the nation and also acknowledged the efforts of those who could not win the medals at the Games. Citing the example of Maricom, who is winning gold medals and is also a sitting MP, the Prime Minister said that the life of a sports person can span several decades. Later, the medal winners were felicitated by the Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs in the city. During his maiden visit to Freswal district, Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh recently inaugurated the 132 by 33 kV power substation of Thanglong and Tipaimuk in Thamlong village. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister informed that a separate 11 kV power line would be exclusively set for the Thamlong subdivision headquarters. He also assured the congregation that a 33 by 11 kV power substation would be set up at Modlom soon. During the inauguration, Singh also declared the commission of 132 by 33 substation of the Tipaimuk subdivision. This new development will improve the quality of power supply in Parbung Tipaimuk area and the substation will also serve as an important infrastructure of overall economic development in the area. Recently, Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonawal expanded his cabinet berth with seven new ministers sworn in by Governor Jagdish Mukhi at the swearing-in ceremony at Raj Bhavan in Guwahati. Of the seven MLAs, Siddhartha Bhattacharya, Bhabesh Kalita, Sam Rungang, Tapan Gogoi, Pijus Hazarika are from the ruling party and Fani Bhushan Chaudhary and Chandan Barma from the Alliance Party of AGP and BPF. While four ministers are of cabinet rank, the remaining three are in the post of ministers of state. As part of the National Disaster Management Authority mock drill exercise in a northeast region, a one-day multi-state mega mock drill was conducted in Mizoram's Aizol city in collaboration with the State Disaster Management and Rehabilitation Department to test the earthquake preparedness in the region. The similar drill was conducted in the state of Nagaland and Tripura to evaluate the effectiveness of their disaster response plans. Recently, the 15th Finance Commission, led by its chairman N.K. Singh, visited the Assam province and assessed the state of the finances of Assam, its socio-economic challenges and explored ways to boost the state's per capita income. During the meeting, held at Assam's Administrative Staff College in Guwahati, keeping in mind the state's long international borders with Bhutan and Bangladesh, the Assam Chief Minister, Sarbananda Sonawal, requested the Commission to initiate steps for international border development and interstate border development programs.